Welcome back to the Python 3 for Beginners tutorial, and today we will be talking about break and continue. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by making a list called L and putting it, uh, putting the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 inside of the list, and then making a for loop. And this for loop will be 4n, which stands for numbers, in L, and then a colon. So I'm going to go ahead and basically uh, we'll start with break. So break exits a loop. So if I go ahead and say um, if n is equal to L, then go ahead and print n and then break. And else go print it isn't here and I save that and I'm gonna go ahead and run that now and you're gonna see it is it isn't here printed four times and that is because so far n is not equal to the full list of L or 1 2 3 and 4 so it completely ignores this and goes straight to the print but it still has to loop through uh, the amount of items in the list and in this case there's four so it still has to loop through four times and each time it still isn't true so it has to print it isn't here but then if you see uh, if you'll see I type n equals l up here we will get a different result and it prints this because what happened was I did 4n and then in L and I set n equal to L which is a list up here and then the if statement says if n is equal to L well it is because I set it equal then go ahead and print n so it prints the list and then it breaks and exits out of the loop and doesn't print it four times because break is telling it to leave so that's basically break all you need to really know is it just exits a loop and we're gonna talk about continue now so if I keep uh, if I remove this else right here and I remove the print over here and then I change uh, L to range and then I do um, I'll change this as well I'll do two four six and 8 just for demonstration purposes so for in in range I want it to start at 1 and I want it to end at 10 so I will go ahead and delete n equals L as well and do that so I say I'll just delete all of this really quick okay so I'm gonna start off with an if statement and I'm going to say if in in and I haven't talked about in inside of an if statement basically what this is just saying is if n is in and then we go ahead and type in L which is the list and like I said before it's if n in L oh whoops uh, then we go ahead and continue and then we go ahead and print in so Basically what continue does is I will run this really quick and you will see it does 13579 and you may be wondering why it does that. Well, I told it to start at 1 instead of 0, but you will see if I just started it at uh or if I just delete this and then set it to 10, you'll just see it will do 013579. It doesn't really matter what I do. Basically what I'm saying is if n is in the list of L then continue which basically just means to skip over it or to uh, keep going and then print in so uh, for example since we did range 10 it's gonna start at 0 so it's gonna go 0 is 0 in this list up here oh it's not so uh, sorry about my phone so what it's gonna go ahead and do is it's gonna go ahead and print in which is zero then it's gonna go to one is one in here nope okay print one two's in here so we're gonna go ahead and skip over that three nope okay print it 
four, yep, that's there. Five, print. Six, yeah. Seven, go ahead and print. And eight, yeah. And then it stops at ten. And nine is not in the list, so it goes ahead and continues over it and prints in or nine. So that is basically all you guys need to know about break and continue. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will be happy to answer them. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and I will see you guys in the next one.